This is the Xnova RM1407 3500KV motor. Uh, yet uh, one more 1407 motor uh, for the for this size class. Uh, these have been becoming quite popular for three inch builds and some four inch builds. Uh, and the KV is uh, right in the middle of uh, of. Uh, the KV range that uh, has been out, uh, which is uh, from basically from 32 to 4,000 KV, so 3,500 faults almost right in the middle, and that's probably one of the one of the best uh, matches uh, for three-inch props, I think. Uh, anyway, this motor, uh, as with other X Nova motors, is actually pretty pretty good quality the finish is is quite good uh, all the uh, uh, it, it feels pretty solid uh, the uh, the build itself is uh, pretty much uh, standard as far as uh, sh sh the shaft is uh, it's been pressed in there's a set screw right there but that's quite tiny so uh, I Xnova doesn't really provide a lot of uh, information as to uh, what kind of magnets they use or pretty much not that much information if you go to the website uh, they do list the the motor but not not much information on it there's a trust table there but uh, from my test I couldn't really match um, what they had there so uh, but anyway uh, overall the motor is pretty pretty well built uh, so you can see the magnets are they're not uh, arc magnets they are um, square magnets but uh, for this size motor um, and because the magnets are uh, so narrow uh, the the arc magnets the, the, they'll be better but you know it's not a I don't think they uh, that that's gonna cause that much of a disadvantage as far as performance uh, looks like the uh, laminations are 0.2 millimeters uh, kind of looks like that I again I didn't have time to count how many there are uh, but it, they certainly look uh, very close to 0.2 millimeters, and uh, the uh, the stator itself. Uh, let's see, let's see if it's a uh, actual. Yeah, looks like it's a seven millimeter stator, and the windings uh, from what I can see is that they are single strand wire so motor weight is gonna be 16 grams about 16 grams 15.9 16 grams and that includes uh, these wires which are a little bit long uh, so these are, let's see, about uh, 105, about 105 millimeters worth of wire. So, you know, if you trim those, you probably end up with the uh, next, uh, uh, a little bit less weight, maybe 0.3 grams or so, <laughs> not much. So overall, pretty conventional uh, configuration uh, for this motor. Um, uh, so let's see um, let's see how it performs on the uh, thrust stand.
Here are the results for the thrust test of the Xnova RM1407 3500kV motor. Uh, this motor was uh, sent in by uh, RC Group's member Babeli, so thanks for sending it on loan so I can test it and uh, you know put it through its pay through the paces and uh, see what it say what, see what it can do and share the information with you guys so thanks to Babeli for sending the motor and also uh, this Lumineer prop 3040 by 3 was sent in by a YouTube viewer uh, who wanted to find out what the prop uh, performance was uh, I didn't have this prop so so that's a welcome addition I'm gonna add it to the this roster on future motors so I'll, I'll be also testing it um, as you can see this motor uh, performs quite well uh, on the popular props the team racecraft uh, 30 30 by 4 um, HQ and uh, the rotor X uh, the results are pretty pretty good uh, uh, one of the props that uh, really shows the a motor's performance uh, on this size is this uh, Rotor X uh, 3040 by 3 so 600 uh, grams it's uh, quite respectable uh, keep in mind guys that uh, you know this uh, this test I do I keep the uh, the voltage uh, at 16 volts so that's uh, that really puts a lot of stress on the motor so you know the the load, uh, the amps uh, are always gonna show quite high on the static test. Uh, you know, don't don't let that scare you. That's just static. You know, it, it doesn't mean you're gonna see these amps on in flight. In flight, it's gonna be a lot less. I always always say it's gonna be around 25 to 35 or so percent less. Uh, that's just an approximation. It could be. A little bit more, it could be a little bit less. So, uh, uh, so you know, just keep that in mind. Uh, uh, okay, as we go on to larger props, the three and a half inch props. Uh, again, the motor keeps performing quite well, 646 grams. Uh, then uh, here comes the larger prop, uh, the 4045 four inch prop, Gen fan. Uh, this one really puts a lot of load on the motor and uh, looks like this motor can handle it quite well 735 grams at 23.5 amps um, and then i also went ahead and tested a five inch prop but for this one i did uh, lower the voltage to 14.8 because uh, this is just a, a very large prop for this motor uh, uh, but uh, just wanted to see what the motor could do and and it it just kept spinning and I mean it reached uh, you know in the 800s so 860 we showed on the on the quick stab uh, I didn't want to keep it for too long so I was able to read 863 grams uh, at a rather high uh, uh, amperage uh, but you know, I think uh, I think this prop is a little bit too lar too big for this motor uh, on 4S. Uh, the KV is just too high for that prop. Perhaps on a 3200 KV, the five-inch prop would uh, work best. Uh, but for this motor, I don't think it's a good match. Though I think I've seen people say that they're running a five-inch prop on the Brother Hobby 1407 3600. I uh, just find that uh, to be kind of uh, over propping the motor so uh, you know just, just use a larger motor for that uh. but anyway uh, if you, you know, if you want to use it uh, let me know how you know I'd like to know how it, how it works uh, well the inevitable would be to uh, compare this motor to the King of the 1407s, the Brother Hobby. So let's see how they compare with uh, some of the common props. The uh, let's see, I tested the Gen Fan 3035 on both. So performance is pretty close. 
516 versus 535. The team racecraft uh, again, pretty close, 524 and 553. So it looks like the the uh, Xnova is just lagging just a little bit behind, uh, probably due to the difference in KV values for the motors. But uh, as we go to uh, heavier props, you know, a little bit uh, props with uh, more pitch that put more load on the motor, uh, we can see the gap is getting closer, you know, with the, the uh, Rotor X 3040 by 3. Uh, I mean, it's almost identical, almost identical performance. And then as we move on to the the largest prop that I tested on the Brother Hobby, uh, the Gen Fan 4045. Uh, again, pretty close performance, 735 versus 748. Uh, although the Brother Hobby is slightly more efficient, it's only using 21.6 amps, so whereas this one 23.5. Not a lot of, not a lot of, uh, not a big gap. You know, it's, it's pretty close. I mean, practically uh, about the same. So very close performance between these two uh, so it looks like this uh, this Xnova is uh, pretty turned out to be a pretty pretty good motor pretty capable so so this one would go pretty well on a on, you know on any three inch build uh, so overall pretty pretty good results for this motor so hope you guys find this uh, uh, these results, uh, these tests, useful. Uh, and uh, as always, uh, check back soon. I'll have uh, some other tests coming up. Uh, next one, uh, I believe the next one I'm gonna finish up is the Rotor Geeks uh, 1407, 3600 KV. I think that's gonna be the next uh, uh, the next test I'll I'll put up. Uh, anyway. Uh, uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you on the next uh, video.